What makes a wheel assembly out of balance? The simple answer is a wheel assembly is out of balance when it's heavier on one side than the other. Imbalance is a problem that can be neutralized simply by installing centromatics. This demonstration will help you visualize the science behind how centromatics actually work. When you have a heavy side on a wheel, I'm going to put this magnet on here to make this wheel heavier on this side. And as this wheel spins, this magnet is going to be constantly trying to pull this wheel off of its axis. Now watch what happens when it spins. It does just that. And as that magnet is trying to pull that wheel off axis, it causes a vibration. And what the centromatics do is they neutralize that imbalance situation. The centromatics will constantly migrate to the, uh, the light side until there no longer is a light side. And then you have a perfectly balanced wheel assembly. And when we spin it up now, you'll see those weights will neutralize the imbalance. The vibration is gone, and look where the weights are. They're opposite the heavy side, which balances that wheel assembly permanently and continuously, just like it does on your trucks. To help you determine the correct part number to fit your truck, we need a little bit of information. Centromatic is not a one-size-fits-all. This particular truck that we're dealing with today is a 2014 ProStar International with a 16.5 drum. You can see it's in the casting, 16.5 drum. With that information now, we can come back to our flow chart and determine the correct part number to fit our truck. We're on the 22.25 side of our flow chart. The other side is a 24.5. Today, because this truck has got 22.5 rims, this is the chart we're gonna use. Now for the steer axle, what we're trying to determine at this point, it has a drum brake. We come over to drum, it's an aluminum wheel, and it's a 16.5 drum, we just determined, we just looked at it, 16.5 drum, it comes down and tells us that the 800 is the correct balancer for this truck. It is very important to read all installation instructions provided inside the Centromatic box prior to installation. Now that we've chosen our part number, there are two tests that need to be performed. We need to test fit the balancer in the wheel, and then we need to test fit the balancer on the drum. Let's start with the wheel. We've laid the wheel flat. Now we'll lay our balancer inside the wheel just to find out if it falls all the way down. And you could hear that it fell all the way to the bottom. It's touching very good at the seat all the way around. We have a good fit here. Now we'll test fit our balancer on the drum. If you'll notice, our balancer has two different size holes, one for hub pilot, one for stud pilot. We have to be certain that we put the stud in the tightest stud hole on our balancer. When we do this, we push it up tight all the way to be certain that we have a good, a good seat. Now when we push it up all the way, we'll see we have a good seat here. There is no gap here. It seats up tight all the way around. This is a good fit. Now we want to give you an example of what it looks like when the balancer does not fit properly. We go over here to the drum and you'll see, first I'm going to put it on the incorrect hole. I'll put it in the, the biggest hole and you can see how the balancer is sloppy, doesn't fit real good. Now when I put it on the correct hole, you can see how it fits tight and precision. Now when I push it up all the way, you'll see this balancer is not fitting correctly. Look at the gap we have here. It's not seating up all the way because it's touching the drum somewhere else before it gets a chance to seat up. This is a bad fit, it needs to be taken off, and the correct balancer needs to be installed. Although the dual drive or trailer centromatics mount between the duals and do not require a profile test fit like the steer balancer, it is equally important to install it on the tightest stud hole on the centromatic as demonstrated on the steer balancer and pay close attention to line up your valve stem access holes. Mounting the rear balancer is easy. Just locate the correct stud holes and slide the balance. Off. Expect a snug fit. Be sure to line the handhold up so you can access the inside valve stem. Also, the ring can face either in or out.